been trained in all kinds of media. And you know when you're, when you're a media presenter on TV, for instance, let me say, there's a trick. You know, if your jacket bunches up, what, what you're supposed to do is basically, here, yeah, hold that for a second, brother. You're supposed to actually sit on, your, on the tail of your jacket, and that pulls the thing down so you look good on camera. See, mm -hmm. a little trick I just thought I'd tell you, just in case you go to a TV studio or something like that, and you got to be on camera, I'm going to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> you know something, brother? I've been thinking lately. And what it's about is um, what we call, uh, what do you call, uh, 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 patri patriarchy. You know, when the man's the boss. <laughs> now, see, I'm wearing my, my artist shirt that resembles the Shan people, you know, the original people of Southern Africa, you know, they have the cave paintings, you know. And in fact, uh, I don't go on to let me just say, look, the cave paintings, they're still there after thousands and thousands of years. I was listening to John Hetrick Clark the other day, and he says that, you know, these days, if you paint something, it doesn't even last 10 years, it's gone. So they must have some good paint. But I'm thinking of the sound of people because back then, you know, because these, to me, their caves were just museums, they were living out all outside. But back then, that was before, you know, agriculture hit. So every, you know, the whole community was sort of, we were equal. Because, you know, you had to share, the, you know, everything, you know, the, the guys were out hunting, but, the, you know, so sort of sharing. So it was more of a, What's, it what's that big word they use in academia? Egalitarian, I think that's the word, situation. But you know, that didn't change until agriculture happened and then people started to accumulate wealth. Which means that men, you know, because they, uh, they can, say for instance, they had more than one wife, or even they had just one wife, they had a lot of children. That means they had more people, I call them indigenous, children of indigenous servants. I'm sorry, a little joke. Um, you know, to till the land. So if, if you till more land, you got more crops. Therefore, you was wealthier because you could sell more crops. So the more children you had, or the more wives you had, the more workers you had, you know, that was under your yoke, so to speak. Um, that means you was acquired more wealth. And as you that transgressed, it kept on going, kept on, kept, kept on going throughout the years. And men got more power and more power, and then women's sort of role becomes subservient, you see? So it's kind of interesting because this, this patriarchy to this day is detrimental. It's detrimental. And plus here in Africa you have the problem of even the tribal leaders, you know, don't control anything anymore. It's wealth that controls everything. So even if, if say for you had uh, matters between the two, you know, man and woman, you know, usually the woman, would, you know, woman couldn't be abused or something because she had a whole family. You have to deal with the whole family. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, you was in check with your whole family because you would be, hey, you can't do this to the woman or you can't do this to the children. But all that's breaking down because of not only wealth, but individual wealth. So the, the, the problem, uh, the, the problem is that as soon as you have this individual, and some, some people think they're better than everyone because they think they have wealth. Forget knowledge or, or, or principles or whatever it is. It's, it's, so this whole notion of wealth, this will change the whole thing. Because we're supposed to be equal. I know, I know, I know it goes against, you know, whatever, modern thinking or whatever, whatever, whatever. But you can't have, you know, especially these, the kind of mentality, the men's mentality we have today, which is basically a European men, men, men's mentality. Like I said, the African mind, they just, they just give that up. <laughs> they just, they just, they, they have a European mind, I'm sorry. The, the wealth, I'm talking about the wealthy people in Africa. It's all European mentality. So they could look African. Actually, they don't even dress African, you know what I mean? They, 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 they look outside. They look some weird thing between African and European, whatever it is. But, well, I should say colonial. <laughs> they look colonial to me. Even on this campus, you got a bunch of colonialists running around here. I'm going to read my own right now. Look, that's all I have to say. Because I'm just trying to say this patriarchy, it's got to go. I know it's, it's, we're, we're, we as men, you know, we, we uh, how do you say, benefit by it, but uh, it's not serving the overall culture or the overall, you know, uh, the needs of a society. And that is a huge problem. You gotta serve the needs of the society, not the needs of, even the family, not, not the needs of the individual. And mostly you can't serve the needs of a male individual. And my 
fear is that then you have to swing all the way back. And then if women, ah, it's, it's, it's got, if, if women starts coming in, I think that's going to happen. The women that, that now acquire this wealth and become whatever they become, you know, uh, uh, has some power. They're not going to, they're not, they're not only going to embrace the European or the colonial mentality, but they're also embracing the male colonial mentality. So I think even if you see a woman these days, you don't know if she's really into. Maybe she has to. You see how complicated it gets. I gotta think about this more. Let me think about it as as as, as you. Well, look, this has been a dispatch from the Arts Director Emeritus. That that would be me, T, from the Patterson Technical Training Center, better letting you know what I only suspect. Mm.